Okay, so the next thing I'd like to talk about is a new feature that we added about a couple of months ago with the Studio Live, and it is a part of Virtual Studio Live, and it's the integration of the Smart Spectra tools. Okay, so what is Smart? Um, Smart is a really great sound analysis software that's created by a company called Rational Acoustics. And when we decided that we wanted to give our, our customers the ability to be able to, you know, give them some, some software tools to be able to look at the sound and analyze frequencies really well, um, you know, we had contemplated creating our own application. We actually do have some RTA tools in Studio One, but if you're in the live sound kind of community, uh, Rational Acoustic and Smart is really the industry standard in this type of technology. So we partnered with them and we integrated Smart directly into um, Virtual Studio Live. So the first iter uh, iteration of this looks kind of like this. If I go to the Graphic EQ page, and again, you know, with my, with my, um, uh, mixer, I, I, the 24-channel mixer has eight graphic EQs that you can assign to, you know, any of the subgroups, the master fader, any of the auxes, okay? Um, you have a couple of different uh, software tools available, so let me go ahead and just turn on some music here so we can hear a little sound, and I'll show you a couple of the tools. So, um, let's see real quick. <laughs> Okay, so okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just playing back some tracks from Studio One, and we're going to open up the master section right here, and we're going to put on the RTA. And so essentially, Let's see, and of course, right when I do that, the song likes to end, so I'm gonna go back and put this back on, okay? And let's go ahead and kind of look and see what this looks like. Okay, so what you're seeing here is a graphical two-dimensional kind of image that's showing you what frequencies are louder. So basically, it's overlaid directly over our 31-band EQ. And as you look at the EQ across, you'll see each one, there's a fader, basically, or, or a meter below each fader of the 31-band EQ. And it's showing you what frequencies on a particular thing are the loudest. So, you know, let's say if I want to, you know, solo something, like I'm going to go ahead and just solo uh, an acoustic guitar for a second and just listen to it. Uh, here is acoustic. And we'll go back to our page here in here it is. And let's let's look at this acoustic. Okay, so what it's showing me basically is you can see wh where the fundamental frequencies are and what I need to kind of roll off because that's a big trick with um, mixing is that a lot of times you have an instrument like an acoustic guitar that has a lot of low end, but there's only a certain amount of usable low end that you really want in the context of a full band mix. And what happens is is that you know, as you, as you see this, you'll see that there's a lot of low frequencies that are just barely coming through. But what that's doing is it's actually robbing energy or, you know, it's robbing headroom from the system. So wh what I can do is I can use this RTA to analyze individual instruments to be able to see where's their fundamental frequencies. So let's just look at this acoustic again. Okay, so really... Any, I mean, really, there's not, not a whole lot usable below 80 hertz. So uh, what I can do then is I can select that particular acoustic guitar, go to my high-pass filter. What does a high-pass filter do? It allows the highs to pass through. So it basically gets rid of un unwanted low end. So I can basically roll off all everything below 80 hertz. And so now it's cleaning up the sound. It's allowing me to get um, the, the, the fundamental frequencies represented, but not 
all of this unwanted low end. And so, you know, a lot of times people will ask, well, you know, how do I know where to set the high pass filter? Well, open up the RTA and check it out and see kind of where the fundamental low end of that instrument is. And basically all of the stuff that's kind of way at the bottom, you know, start rolling off from that. And then of course use your ears. That's the second thing. So, so that's one tool that comes within the smart spectra. The second tool is called the spectrograph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just flatten this EQ for a second. And we're going to put the spectrograph back on. Now, the spectrograph is a little bit different than the um, RTA in the fact that it, it not only shows you frequency and uh, the actual amplitude of that frequency, but it also shows you timing, meaning um, you, you'll see it kind of scrolling. And, and, you know, when you first see the spectrograph, it looks kind of strange. It looks almost like Doppler radar. You know, you see a bunch of greens and blues and oranges. Well, the way to read that is almost like you would read a Doppler radar. You know, the, the brighter, the, fr you know, the, the, brighter the, the colors, that's where the loudest frequency or the, or the most energy is. So one of the, the, the applications that the, sp the, the spectrograph is really great for is for finding and eliminating feedback. So, you know, you, everybody's heard feedback. How many of you have actually seen feedback? Okay, and this is a really important thing because, you know, um, being able to identify what frequency is feeding back uh, is, is, is extremely important because, th you know, th the blink reaction when you hear feedback is you just start pulling frequencies down and you, oh, that kind of sounds like a high mid, but I don't exactly know where it is, so I just start pulling all of the high mids down. Well, what that does is you start eliminating frequencies that are not the problem, and then all of a sudden your monitor sound like this, you know, real muffled and, you know, you, you kill too much. So um, we're going to do a little, a, a little uh, mock experiment here, and I'm asking Justin to uh, act like our... our uh, our, our, our mock preacher here at, <laughs> at the ring today. And, and, and one thing about uh, the, the pastor here, um, Josh Causey, that, that, I, that I know about, he, he a lot of times, like a lot of pastors, likes to walk out in front of the speakers, likes to get close to the congregation at times, you know, when he wants to make a point. Well, He's what happens when you bring a lavalier mic that's omnidirectional in front of the speakers? Feedback. Okay, so... Sure. What we can do is we can actually go ahead and kind of set up a... So that's on a uh, you have uh, the fire wire engaged. Yeah, check, one second. Check two, 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 Hold two. Up. hey, hey. Hold up. Okay, there you Hold go. Hold up. Wait, wait a minute. There you are. Okay. Check one, two, hey, hey. Okay, this so there's Justin. Like. This is where I would stand. Hello. Check one, two, hey, hey. Hey, two. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, that doesn't sound too bad. Now, you can see the spectrograph Check as he's one, talking. Two. Hi, okay. everybody. I'm Justin. And I am going to create feedback. Okay, so now I'm going to kind of crank it up. And uh, uh, as I crank it up, kind of start walking out kinda to the front. Move around, Let's see. move around. Hey, 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 hey. Two, 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 chick. Ha, ha. Mm -hmm. This is the no-go zone right here. Okay, so look Check. at that, that line that Check. We're, Check. We're, Check. we're seeing. Check two. Okay, we have a Check couple two. of frequencies feeding back. Two, two, hey, 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 hey. Okay, so hey, now two. I'm going to go over to the EQ two, and start two. pulling some of this stuff out. Check now, two. another trick is is to actually boost the frequency to make sure that's the one feeding back. Sure. So, oh, that's definitely it. <clears throat> okay, keep talking. Check two, hey, hey. One, two, one, okay, two, one, two. I hear something two. up here. Let's see. Hey, what this one, is. two, one, two. No, that's not it. Hey, one, two, check. One, two, hey, hey. Hey, two, hey, 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 hey. Hey, two. Ah, look at this white line right here. Check one, two. Check two, two. hey, hey. Hey, two. Okay, and there's something two. up high I'm hearing, too. Two. That right there. Check one, two. I think he's having a good time doing this. Check one two. One two. Hey hey. Hey two. There's something kind of low. Yeah, I hear mm. it. This guy right here. Right about there. And now we can just kind of take that <coughs> out too. Check one two. Hey hey. Better. Pretty good, huh? Mo better. Mo better. Now, here's the interesting thing about this is that, you know, obviously, this EQ is not going to work for the band, but it is going to work. 
for when the pastor comes up to speak. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to the browser and I'm gonna hit the GEQ and I'm gonna create a preset called Pastor's Lab, which I actually already have. And I just hit this plus button and it says overwrite the selected preset. Yes, I can do that. And then it asks you, where do you wanna create it from? I wanna create it from GEQ1. So, you know, the basic setting on this EQ, let's say, is flat. Well, when the band's playing, that's what it looks like. As soon as the pastor comes over, I just click and drag this over, and there it is. That's my pastor's lav preset. And now, if he walks in front of the speakers, it's not going to squeal. So that's a pretty cool little trick. So that's the, the, the spectrograph and the RTA. Um, some really cool analysis tools. Now, the other thing that's coming up and this is really, really exciting, is we have the phase two of the smart integration for the Studio Live that we're going to be introducing in just a couple of, um, literally a couple of weeks. It's in final beta. And what this is, is basically, this will allow you to, to hook up a measurement mic straight to the talkback input of your Studio Live mixer, and you'll be able to actually see uh, pink noise being generated through the system, these, the, the smart analysis is going to give you a frequency trace of your room, and you can actually visually EQ your room and flatten it out. Um, and the advantage of doing this is, is you're taking care of some natural anomalies that are in the room. Now, you know, many of you that are in, in churches that are older buildings that were not really designed, I mean, this is, this is a, how old is this church? Anybody know? 70 years old? 70 years old. So, you know, they weren't exactly... Um, thinking about a rock and roll worship band with a big PA 70 years ago. So obviously th th this building is not designed necessarily with that type of sound in mind. It was probably designed with piano and, you know, vocal kind of um, tuning. Um, so the, the idea with the smart analysis is, is you're going to be able to actually shoot the room. Now, the real cool part about this is that the smart software itself is very, very heavy duty, very complicated, very comprehensive. What we did is we, we took the technology, but we made a very, very simple wizard that basically walks you through. It tells you where to plug in the mic. It tells you where to position it in your speakers. And we're going to be creating a lot of video tutorials as well. And I'm sure it'll probably wind up as another CCI webinar uh, when this is released. But if you are a Studio Live owner, uh, you're going to be able to get this as a free download. And uh, it should be available. It's actually in beta right now. I used it all last week um, on my, uh, I was on the road last week in Europe and we did, you know, four events and we used the, the, the new implementation. So really exciting stuff. So that's coming.